Hey everyone, it's Olivia Grace back with another video for you guys. Um, today I'm giving you guys one trick that you can use to speed up and bring your manifestations to you quicker and more effortlessly. Um, and that one trick is using gratitude. And before you're like, okay, I've heard that before. Let me explain to you the energetic mechanics of why gratitude is going to bring your manifestations to you quicker and more effortlessly. Um, so when you're grateful, um, you are appreciating what you have right now. Um, and if you don't know about manifestation or what manifest things is it's not just your thoughts. A lot of people think it's just my thoughts. It's just my words though. You know, as long as I'm watching those things, then I'm good, but it's not just those things. It is also your feelings. Um, what are you feeling like? So when you are feeling gratitude, you are taking score of what you have versus what you don't have. Um, and energetically, you're putting yourself in the vibration of having. Now, this is the tricky thing about manifestations is that you're trying to embody an energy of already having something that you really don't have yet, whether it be a man, a house, uh, a car, a career, money, whatever it is, um, these things, you're trying to basically assume that state and create that reality from a reality of lack. And because we are always expanding, we are always becoming more, it's easy for us to always be focused on what we don't have. Um, if you look back between, hi, Imani, good afternoon. Um, if you look back between last year, this time January, and this year, this time January, I'm sure that you can find some things that you have, that you've created, right? But I'm sure that in this moment, it's a new year, everybody's got new resolutions, everybody has new desires. So our minds are always forward thinking. Our minds are always focused on what's coming next and how to catch up with that. But the way to catch up with that is to have the state of having. When you're vibrating gratitude, when you're vibrating having, you're sending a signal out to the universe that says, I have already. I'm grateful. I'm not only do I have, but I'm happy that I have. I'm happy with what I have. And because the universe is always reflecting back to you like a mirror, exactly what you're vibrating, it reflects back to you. Okay, you're happy about what you have. Let me send you more things that make you feel that way. Let me send you more things that make you happy about what you have. And guess what those things are? Your new desires that you haven't accomplished yet, right? So the vibration of wanting, the vibration of desire, it's kind of a catch-22 because we can't really get around that. Being expansive beings, we came here to create. We, cre we came here to be more, to have more, to create more than what we have already. So we're always going to be wanting, but that wanting energy is sending off a signal to the universe of not having, of lack, of this is what's missing. So of course, the universe being kind of an impassive reflection, the universe is not sympathizing with you like, oh my gosh, last year was really hard for you. So this year I'll make it easier. It's not, it can only reflect back to you what you're feeling. So you're feeling depressed, you're feeling down on yourself, you're feeling discouraged, you're feeling like nothing ever works for you. The universe reflects that back to you as your reality. And then you look and you say, well, look, this is proof. Look at my life, look at what happens. And again, perpetuate that energy and it continues to create situations that make you feel that way. So when you can turn your energy around, and this is why you can with gratitude, because you are taking count, you're not thinking of something, a lot of people you know, do a lot of visualizations and affirmations for things that they want, which is good, but you're still in the state of not having. You're still in the state of, I want something that I don't have right now. So you're wanting something is being kind of canceled out by the reality and the awareness that you don't have it right now. So you can't help but vibrate lack and okay, it's still not here. So when you take account of what you do have, you're being grateful for what you do have, you're shifting your energy into the energy of, okay, I do have this. And because you're, like I said, taking account of things that have happened, things that you have manifested, things that you have brought into your life that are actually there, it doesn't feel like a lie and you're able to resonate with that. So you know that it's true. I did manifest these things. I do have a lot of these things. I did create these things that I wanted last year that I have actually now. Um, and so when you're able to do that, then of course you're able to assume the state of the desire fulfilled and you're able to actually 
have that be reflected back to you um, by the universe. So that is my one tip for you guys of gratitude. Um, just a couple tips on how to implement that into your life is I suggest to do it in the morning um, when you wake up to just write a short list, maybe three to 10 things that you're grateful for that you have right now. That alone can shift your energy so much and make you more of a magnet because you're not just attracting what you're thinking. You're not just attracting what you're saying. You're attracting what you're being. You're attracting what you're vibrating like. So when you can get yourself to vibrate like a person that's blessed, vibrate like a person that gets what they want, that has what they want, your, your desires are going to speed to you because you're being what you want already. All right. So that's what I have for you today. If you need help, acquiring desires of your de or acquiring vibrations of your desire um, I do work with people to help you to manifest whatever it is that you're trying to manifest mm -hmm. um, and yeah you guys practice gratitude practice meditation practice focusing on the things that make you feel good and I bet by the next time you're watching another one of my videos you'll have a blessing or a success story to share so you guys have a great rest of your day